Operating systems are your gateway to everything computing has to offer. Productivity, gaming, development, and beyond. I talk a lot about privacy, but in this video, I'll take a step back and focus on the starting point, your operating system. We are pitting the world's biggest operating systems against each other. Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chrome OS, Android, iOS, and a couple of white cards that you didn't see coming. First up is Windows. It is the heavyweight champion of the OS world. It was launched in 1985 and started as a clunky MS-DOS sidekick and morphed into what you have now as Windows 11. It's the Swiss Army knife of operating systems. Gaming, coding, spreadsheets, you name it, Windows does it. And it runs on everything from a dusty Dell to a shiny Alienware rig. But with Windows, it's not all sunshine. The system requirements can make your old laptop wheeze like it's climbing Mount Everest. And the updates are a bit too frequent, including multiple fixes that sometimes end up breaking your PC in an infinite loop. Then there is the blue screen of death, the grim reaper that has plagued Windows since 1985. And also security is an issue since it's the biggest malware magnet because, well, everyone is gunning for the king. Still, we love to hate it, don't we? Windows is built for gamers, office warriors, and anyone who needs a do-it-all machine. Just don't mind the occasional meltdown. Next is Mac OS, the cool kid sipping a $6 latte. It launched in 2001 and it's Apple's golden child, exclusive to their sleek Mac OS and iPads. This operating system is smoother than butter on a hot skillet. It's stable, optimized, and a dream for creatives. Video editors and musicians drool over Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro Why the ecosystem vibes with your iPhone like they're soulmates. The battery life is great and will last longer than your last Netflix binge. But here is the cash. You need to sell a kidney for that shiny Apple logo. And gaming, uh, it's not so good. Mac OS treats GPUs like they are cursed artifacts. And if your favorite software isn't Apple approved, well, you're stuck with a half-baked version. It's the operating system equivalent of a gated community. Gorgeous, but you're locked in. Mac OS is built for creatives, Apple fans, and anyone who trade their savings for style and stability. Now let's move over to Linux, the rebel with a cause. It started with Linus Torvalds in 1991, and it's not just one OS, but a whole family of distros like Ubuntu and Debian. While it offers a lot of flexibility and there is usually something for every kind of user, you might get confused if you're just heading to Linux because there's just too much to choose from. However, it's free, open source, and runs on anything. A rusty Pentium or NASA servers. Google, Facebook, and many other multinational companies run their servers on Linux. It's lightweight, secure, and laughs at malware. I have done a complete Linux guide for anybody who is looking to dip their toes into Linux for the first time. You might head over and find out what Linux distro is best for you. But also, unless you are a terminal wizard, well, good luck. It's less click and play and more type cryptic spells into a black void. As far as software goes, you're hunting for alternatives while Windows and Mac OS users sip on their coffee. Linux is the operating system built for coders. It's for tinkerers and caffeine junkies who'd rather hack than click. And of course, Google has a say in everything. So let's head over to Chrome OS, which is Google's minimalist brainchild from 2011. It's the I live in the cloud operating system built for Chromebooks. You know, those cheap, zippy laptops that are flooding schools and Zoom calls. It boots up in seconds, updates silently, and shrugs of viruses like a champ. Plus, Android apps via the Play Store give it some extra flex. But if you don't have Wi-Fi, well, you're toast. It's as useless as a paperweight. Do you need Photoshop or Premiere? Well, dream on. Chrome OS says web apps or bust. Gaming is a stretch unless you're streaming via GeForce Now, and multitasking feels like juggling with oven mates. It's the operating system for people who think Google Docs is peak productivity. Let's just say Chrome OS is built for students, casuals, and cloud dwellers who thrive on simplicity and a tight budget. 
Now here is one for your mobile devices, Android. It's Google's open source Titan, ruling phones from Samsung to your $50 burner you got at a gas station. It's the wild west of customization, launchers, themes, widgets, you're the Picasso of your home screen. Its Play Store is a candy store of apps and there is a device for every wallet. But as they often say, freedom comes with chaos. So let's start with updates. It's a crapshoot. Your phone might be stuck on Android 9 forever. And then with bloatware, you know, those pre-installed apps are clingier than your ex. As far as optimization goes, it's no iOS. Sometimes apps stutter like they are hungover. Still, it's the people's charm for a reason. Android is built for tinkerers, budget hunters, and anyone who wants their phone their way chaos included. Heading to iOS, which is Apple's Velvet Rope VIP. It's exclusive to iPhones and iPads, and it's the OS that screams, I've got money and taste. It's sleek, stable, and gets updates longer than your mom's voicemails. It has a well-curated gallery that is the App Store, and developers kiss the ring for iOS first. You will also enjoy a great ecosystem, so airdrop a 5 from your Mac to iPhone faster than you can say Android what? But there are some downsides. You're in Apple's World Gardens. Customization is a myth and repairs cost more than your rent. But for the I just want it to work crowd, iOS is the golden goose. iOS is built for perfectionists, status seekers, and anyone who would rather not fuss with settings. But that's not all with operating systems. There is BSD, which is Linux's quirky cousin. It powers PlayStation and Netflix servers. It's the unsung hero for tech geeks who think Linux is too mainstream. Then there is Harmony OS, which is Huawei's dark horse, trying to flex on Android and iOS. It's sleek, it's fast, but good luck finding it outside China. It's like spotting a unicorn in your backyard. BSD is built for niche geeks and purists who live off the grid, while Harmony OS is for early adopters and Huawei loyalists betting on the underdog. So there you have it, the OS Smackdown you've always asked for. Windows is the chaotic king, Mac OS the posh prince, Linux the rogue genius, Chrome OS the cloud surfer, Android the free spirit, iOS the polished pro, and BSD and Harmony OS the wildcats. Which one is your ride or die? Drop your pick in the comments. And if you've ever cried over a blue screen of death, you're not alone. Smash the like button if your operating system has ever betrayed you and subscribe for more tech chaos. Till the next one, stay safe out there.